begin, press the power button to turn the monitor on or touch the screen if the monitor is in standby mode. Let's start with the electrocardiogram or ECG, which measures the electrical activity of the heart and can also measure the respiratory rate. The monitor displays the ECG waveform, heart rate numeric and other information from the ECG. For the respiration measurement, the monitor measures the thoracic impedance between two ECG electrodes on the patient's chest. Follow proper skin preparation steps for good electrode-to-skin contact and the noise-free ECG signal, as the skin is a poor conductor of electricity. The electrodes you use while caring for a patient should be of the same brand and type to help minimize noise and be sure to follow all instructions for use found on the electrode packaging. Before placing electrodes, check for moist gel. The gel must be moist to provide a good signal. Electrodes should be changed daily, but baseline wonder is the first indication that electrodes are dry and need to be changed. Electrodes and leads must be placed in the correct anatomical positions for accurate readings. If using snaps, leads must be attached before placing electrodes. If using grabber-type electrodes, leads must be attached to the electrodes after they are placed. Place the RA lead, white, just below the right clavicle. The LA lead, black, just below the left clavicle. The RL lead, green, to the right lower abdomen the LL lead, red, to the left lower abdomen, and the V lead, brown, to the chest, at the fourth intercostal space on the right side of the sternum. Three lead and six lead placements are shown here. For six lead placement, the two chest leads can be positioned on any two of the V1 to V6 positions. In Teleview monitors, use the oscillometric method for measuring non-invasive blood pressure, or NBP. Be sure to select the proper cuff size before positioning the cuff around the limb. When wrapping the cuff snugly around the patient's limb, ensure that the index edge falls within the range indicated by the range arrow. Try to apply the cuff to a limb at the same level as the heart and ensure tubing is not kinked or twisted to ensure an accurate measurement. With the NBP cuff in place, you can start NBP measurement. To do so, select the smart key. To measure oxygen saturation, or SpO2, select a good extremity and consider the different sensor types. The application site should match the sensor size so that the sensor won't fall off or apply excessive pressure. Check that the light emitter and the photodetector are directly opposite each other. All light from the emitter must pass through the patient's tissue. The plath wave appears on the monitor screen as soon as the sensor is connected. Philips.